good morning everybody. Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee and it is cold and raining for I don't know how many straight days. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a lot of water that comes off the hill. In fact, my house is sort of like a dam. It's a leveled area that, well, they leveled when they built the house, but it's basically a dam holding the water back from going downhill. So I do have some water under my house. It's not as bad as I thought. John went under there the other day, but I had this company over here to try to give me an estimate on what it would take to put in a French drain. And they said, well, we would really like to see the water flowing the next time it rains. And so I thought you could go with me and we'll take a walk around and see how I am simply washing away here in Tennessee. So stay with me. Here we go. I tell you, getting this wrought iron railing is the best thing I've done since I, I came here. Because that is a one, two, five, six step front uh, staircase. And there was no railing. Now we're out in the country, so there are no codes. And that would not, you know, in California that wouldn't fly. <laughs> but hey, hi. Look who's in the window, putting her paw prints in the window. Can you see, let's see. That's BJ and that's, um, oh, now don't, don't bicker. Sometimes they get too close to one another and they don't like it. That's BJ standing up on her hind feet and that's um, Spot right there. Hi Spot. Oh, they're looking at my umbrella. That's very exciting. Uh, I wanted to show you the daffodils. We'll do it on the way back. Let's get over where the water is. So, all right, here we are on the driveway. And as you saw in my last video, the, we had torrential, uh, a torrential downpour. So, uh, Right now, it's just kind of sprinkling, so I thought I would come out. Uh, it's about 30, it's about 38 degrees, probably. And I actually need to mail a letter. So let's walk down to the mailbox and, and see how some of the water is uh, flooding down a lot. I mean, it's just gushing down, washing everything down. <laughs> That's what water does, wash everything down. Even with just a little bit of water flowing, you can see it goes right straight across the driveway here. And a lot of it goes down the middle too and kind of curves around and goes that way, but a lot also goes down this way. So all the area around the, around the raised beds is just pooled. Yeah, see, this is the main flow. It cuts down through here and it goes down through there. And, you know, this stream picks up and then it goes down through here. And then it cuts down through here. And then I see it's all flooded in this area. Goodness. Okay, now as for the the cardboard and the Christmas trees cut up seem to have kind of protected the blueberry bushes, but the whole enclosure got mangled from the last really heavy winds. I wanted to show you this tomato terrace looks good. But down here, we got some major pooling of water. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. All right, let's cut through here. So you can see it runs in between these mounds. I had this 
topsoil dropped off here to build the terrace project and never used it. This was good topsoil. It got covered in weeds and so I covered it in a tarp. But look at this stream flowing here. Oh my gosh. Wow. This big mound here was what we skimmed off, the grass that we skimmed off to make the terraces. Oh, the ground is so wet. Oh my goodness, look at all of this. This is like a river. changed it a little bit because of those two big mounds of dirt I put up there. But otherwise, this has been going on for as long as the house has been here. I meant to get those leaves for my compost. A nice big pile there but this is a problem if you guys want to get one of those vacuum mulchers you really shouldn't get electric because then you can't get that far away if you've got a small property the electric is great 100 foot cord will do fine but if you've got this kind of space and you want to get some of these leaves picked up it's more of a pain you're gonna need a battery powered You know, I've always been mystified as to where all this water goes. I mean, I know it goes to the river, uh, but you can see up through there, my garden at the top of the hill there. All that's gonna run off right down through here. And then it goes down here. So the question is, where does it go from here? It goes down through there in those rocks somewhere, and I don't know actually whose property that is. I mean, that's a lot of water, but down there, if there were no trees, and you're up higher, you could probably see the river. All right. I need to get this letter in the mailbox before the mailman comes. Wow. Look across the road. That's like a pond. Wow, that's a lot of water there. I guess it's coming down off those rocks. Okay, let's look over on my side. That's what I have to worry about. I'm higher, thankfully. But I got a puddle here. it gets a little higher there. You know, I've got to cut those limbs that are hanging down because it obscures seeing down the road when you pull out of the driveway. Gotta turn that. Oh, it's cold. 
you can see up there, my garden is really at a slope. But we got the tail end of it down at this end, covered in straw and compost, which seems to be holding things down. A lot better than cardboard, that's for sure. You can see, even though it's February, all of that green stuff is coming back. That stuff will be knee high or waist high, all of that. by April. So if I want to hike in there, I need to do it before it gets all, you know, when snakes come out. This just seems like I need to direct water. It's just streaming from everywhere. We should go up into the woods. Not today, I'm cold, but I'll go up in the woods maybe tomorrow and see how the water is actually coming down. This is like a little stair-stepped stream here, and the roots from the trees provide the steps in most cases. You can see in here, just take a little look right at the entrance. I got daffodils coming up. One back there, one down there. The biggest problem that needs to be dealt with is directing the water from the, this part of the hill around the house so the water you know because it comes down the hill and then it flattens out and right there it pools and then it soaks in and it goes underneath the house so underneath the foundation so what i need to do is show them how it's coming down this hill the other stuff can be dealt with later so, all right, let me give you a look at the backyard right now. So here's part of my firewood. This is all like, this has to be like, let's see, two inches deep right here so a little bit better on this back side by the way if you saw my video of Daryl sacking my firewood that entire remember that it was waist high from from there over to there and I've already used all that and then this one is I've already used half of this one okay so let's go up here okay so here's the problem you see this uh, right here it kind of splits it splits so it comes down here and it comes down here maybe we can see it better when we get up and look down it comes to here it kind of gets stuck with all i had a tree taken out here and we're we were going to use some of these wood chips and i told john to cover what's left so it doesn't get washed down the hill but it kind of pools it comes look at all these leaves Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could be sucking up leaves for days if it would just dry out a little bit. Uh, it's a lot of poison ivy everywhere. 
so that's an issue but this is kind of the lowest point right here and so it dips down between this tree and that little double tree well, let's turn around and look at it this way yeah you can see it better okay so it's going down that way scattered and it's going down down here and in these two kind of streams here and here and then what's happening is it's pooling there back here and over here is what I worry about because that the forward side of the house on that end is the lowest point and that's where the water's going to go to under the house as you can see got a nice fire burning because it is cold and damp and my house guest is not used to that so let's come over here you see it I just need all of this piped away because you can see it's probably one to two inches deep and it continues over here to my garden so what I wanted to do is I mean which is not a bad thing but my garden is going to be drowning too I want to pipe it from you see over there I want to pipe it along here and I want to take it higher than this mound I want to plant potatoes in here I wanted to take it off that way between those trees and down in the forest mulched area but then that's going to wash out everything over there <laughs> so I don't know what's best but as you can see I had John build this out and look it's just washing off I mean water cannot be stopped you know I mean it won't be stopped one way or another even without piping it over here look at all the water that's collecting on this in front of this mound this is a berm that is kind of a swale and a, and a berm he moved some dirt here so it wouldn't be as much going down the side but now the dirt's just washing down too so all right so there you have it there are the issues and tell me what you think please leave me a comment below i've got to uh to get this done you know somehow with someone i should have done it before now but i haven't they can't even stand up because they're so weighted down with rain aren't they beautiful wow oh. hi hi bj hi baby hi hi patch hi they knocked off one of the boxes in there so they don't have they only have two feet to stay oh uh oh uh oh uh oh don't crowd me don't crowd me Hey, be nice to your brother. She, she's going, what's going on? That's Tiger. That's Patch. That's BJ. And Spot had enough, so he left. Hi, Patch. Hi, baby. Hi, Tiger. Hi. Hi. You don't need to be out here. You'll get soaking wet. I know. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> okay, my hand is freezing. I should have worn my little gloves without the fingertips, so I could so I could turn my camera on and off, but I didn't. Anyway, that's the story here on the homestead. I would love to hear from you. Please share this video. Uh, you know, these are the challenges. A lot of people are moving to Tennessee, and you need to know 
that if you're coming from California where there's no rain, you're coming to an area where there's a lot of rain. And if you're looking for a house, for sure you want to look at flood zones. I did that. My house is in a really good position in terms of uh, the street, you know, being, I don't have to worry about flooding, you know, like that. But there's a lot of water coming off that hill. My only consolation is that it's been like that since the house was built. So, you know, um, gosh, my camera is dripping with water <laughs> on the bottom. So I'm going to have to go. You guys, thanks so much for supporting this channel. I am trying to build a sustainable homestead here and I'd like you to be along for the journey. So please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here on my homestead. And I'll see you in the next video.